Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Welcome, dear students, for our commercial subject group, account 213 for level 3. Today, we will explain financial statement analysis in unit 6. In this unit, we will cover the need for comparative analysis the tools of financial statement analysis. Then we will compute the percentage by using the horizontal analysis. Analyzing financial statements involves evaluating three features of a company, which are liquidity, profitability, and solvency. Summary of comparative analysis. In comparative analysis, we have to compare by internal comparison using current year figures with the prior year. Industry comparison, we can analyze the companies in the same industry and comparator comparison with the comparator competitors. Okay, in financial statement analysis, we will use horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, and ratio analysis. In this chapter, we will cover only the ratio analysis and the vertical analysis, but we will not take the ratio analysis. In horizontal analysis, we will use the balance sheet, income statement, and retained earned statement figures. In vertical analysis, the balance sheet and income statement. For the ratio analysis, it will not be covered in this chapter, which we can use the liquidity, profitability, solvency, and summary. Okay, the tools of financial statement analysis. For horizontal analysis, we can evaluate the series of financial statement data over a period of time. In vertical analysis, we will evaluate a series of financial statement da data by expressing each item in a financial statement as a percent of base amount. In the ratio analysis that will not be covered in this lesson, we will express the relationship among selected items of financial statements. Okay, in this lesson, we will explain properly horizontal analysis. And for the second lesson, we will explain the vertical analysis. Horizontal analysis, we can name it trend analysis, both with the same meaning. It is a technique for evaluating a series of financial statement data over a period of time. Okay, what is the purpose of horizontal analysis is to determine the increase and decrease that has taken place. Okay, the change may be expressed as either an amount or percentage. Amount mean in BD, percentage mean it's a percent. We have two formulas for horizontal analysis. First, we will explain properly the horizontal analysis of current year in relation to base year. They have to tell us the relation. So what is the formula? Current year amount over base year amount. Okay, and the second formula, change since base period, current year amount, minus base year amount, current minus base over base year. In this formula, how we can differentiate it between the first formula and the second one? They want the change or increase or decrease. But the first formula, they have to decide the relation base year. Okay. Let's see example number one. 
the recent net sales figure of Majida company are as follows. Okay, now we have five years. We'll start with 2015 because this year is the oldest year. So this year is a base year. Okay, then we have 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. Okay, let's see what's required. Express current year sales as percentage of the base period for the five years. Okay, the base years is 2015. They told us that the base year is 2015. Let's see the answer. The formula says current results in relation to base period of net sales. Relation. Okay, relation. So what is the formula? Current year amount over base year amount multiply by 100 to get the percentage. Okay, current year over the base year multiplied by 100. Let's see. Let's start with the base year 2015. 2015, this is the base year. So we will use it at the top, okay, over, because the same year it will be base over the base, because there is no current year for this year, okay? Multiply by 100, it will give us the 100%. Let's see 2016. The base year in all years will be this one, okay? Only we change the current year, 42,000, okay? 42 mul uh, divided by 40,000, multiply by 100, equal 105%. 44,000 divided by 40,000, the base year also. Multiply by 100, equal 110%. For 2018, 48,000 is the current year over the base year. Multiply by 100 equal 120 percent and for this is 2019. For 2019, the current year will be the same, only we will put the base year multiply by 100 equal 125 percent. Okay, let's see example number two. The recent net sales figures of Hala company are as follows. The same, we have four years, 2019, 2018, 2017, and 2016. Let's see what's required. Major all percentage of increase or decrease. The previous example, they want the relation. Now they want the percentage of increase or decrease and net sales using year 2016 for the base, okay? This is the base year, okay? We will use the second formula because the required is the percentage of increase or decrease. Okay, let's see the solution. The formula says the change since base year, current year amount minus base year amount over base year amount. Okay, so we will use base and base. Multiply by 100. Let's see the table. Okay, uh, let's move to the base year. This is the base year. Okay, this is the base year. We have 20,000 BD. Let's apply the formula. We have 20,000 
minus 20,000 over 20,000 because we don't have current. So we use base for the same year, minus base over base. Multiply by 100, it will equal 0%. So for the base year, there is no current year. All numbers will be the same. Okay, let's move to 2017. This is the current year. So the formula is, this is the current amount. Okay, we will copy it in the formula. Minus 20,000. This is the base amount over 20,000. Also base multi uh, multiplied by 100 equal 20%. In 2018, this is the current year. We have 25,000. We will apply it in the formula. 25,000 minus 20,000 which is the base year over 20,000 also is the base year. Multiply by 100, we will get 25%. Okay, let's move to 2019, which is the current year. We have 28,000. We will apply it in the formula. Minus 20,000, which is the base amount over 20,000, which is base amount. Multiply by 100 equal 40%. Okay, let's see example three. Let's apply the horizontal analysis for balance sheets. Further illustration of horizontal analysis, we will use the financial statement of Abdullah company a horizontal analysis of its two-year balance sheet. Required, compute all percentage of increase or decrease for Osama store using horizontal analysis. 